Hello everyone, in this session, let us see how to solve or how to calculate the resultant for two forces by using parallelogram law of forces and the two on graphical method. Suppose if there are two forces, one is 60 newtons uh, and there is 30 newtons, uh, it is having an inclination of both are having an inclination of 30 degrees with each other. So if we want to calculate the resultant for these two, how we can solve it by graphical method. First. Uh, we have to draw the uh, forces as per the scale. So first you need to consider scale. So I am considering uh, 1 Newton is equal to 1 mm. So this is the scale I have considered. So as per the scale, so I have to draw a line as it is 60 Newtons. I have to draw a line of 60 mm. Okay of 60 mm length. Now I have to consider second force at an inclination of 30 degrees. Now draw a line which is of uh, 30 degrees inclination. So this is of 30 degrees inclination and uh, uh, consider the force uh, con or consider the side at a distance of 30 mm. Why? Because 1 newton is equal to 1 mm. So 30 newtons will be equal to 30 mm. So with the help of uh, uh, with the help of compass, so considering this one as center, you can drop an arc onto here. So then uh, this one will be on this side, right? So now as per the statement, so construct a parallelogram. So you have to construct parallelogram. So based upon the properties of parallelogram, so opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Now you have to draw a line which is of uh, 60 mm length and parallel to this side. And uh, you have to consider the another side such that it is parallel to this one and 30 mm in length. So this is 30 mm. So if two forces are representing as the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, so then the diagonal passing through intersection of those two forces will represent the resultant. So that means this is going to be resultant. So here if I want to find the resultant magnitude, so I need to mention, uh, I need to measure the distance between the points O and B. So measure the distance between point O and B uh, with the help of a scale. Suppose if you got that value as uh, suppose if you got that value as 96.7 mm. So I got R value as 96.7 mm. So as by the scale I considered here 1 Newton is equal to 1 mm. So then it will be 96.7 Newtons. And if I want to measure the direction of resultant, so with the help of protractor, so I have to keep the protractor here. I have to keep the protractor here. So and I have to measure the angle here. So like that I can measure the magnitude of resultant and direction of resultant. Hope you are able to understand. If you are able to understand, uh, click on the like button and don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.